Perfect. We are live. We're live? Yes. All right. Good morning. <clears throat> A quick bonus episode here of uh, the show. It's just the three of us. Me, Justin, and Coleman working on some Portland stuff, filming some Portland stuff this morning. A bunch of stuff tomorrow. We have Clemmer in studio tomorrow uh, as well. So, uh, <clears throat> um, yes, yes, yes. So Portland's a week from Saturday, and we're working the way at that. And I don't know why. Uh, maybe it's because we're, I, I don't know why. I, we usually sell stuff out or it's close or whatever. So we have some balcony seats. And some are like the, what I think are considered the restricted view area in the, on the bottom floor, which are not. I'm telling you, I've been to Portland. I've been, obviously, I've done the shows there. I've been. The balcony seats are great. So it looks like it's way more on the upper balcony, than the which is fine. But we have some tickets available there. So if you're looking to go to the show, which is a week from Saturday, I get it's Easter weekend. I get it's a difficult, like, definitely the date is not perfect, believe me. If we do it over again, we wouldn't have uh, done that date. But that's what we're doing. We're going to be there. Um, so if you're on the fence or whatever, or you want to do it, I, I don't promote these things ever, which is stupid. After, like, the first day, I don't think we've promoted it since, which is really dumb. Um, but we want everyone there. We want the place packed as can be. Um, we have obviously sold a shitload of seats already, but if we get everyone there, that'd be great. So uh, go on the Ticketmaster site now, Justin. Which we, I don't know, have we promoted that since the day we did sell the tickets? Uh, not really. Not really. It's mean, pretty I mean, dumb. That's just dumb. That's not me. Yeah. That's stupid and lazy. So, um, so go take a look. Uh, I'd like to see snatch up whatever there are, so we can have a good crowd. The show's gonna be wild. That atmosphere is unbelievable. It's my favorite live show venue by a mile. So, uh, and it's gonna be a great show. The crowd is gonna be hot. Uh, the night before, we're going to be at Gritty's in downtown Portland, which is fun, from Mike and the Mena fans, which is a Kirk Minahan YouTube network solo property. Uh, so we're doing Mike and the Mena fans there with Mike on Friday, so all the Mena fans will be there Friday night. I'll be around. Uh, we'll take pictures. We'll have a good time. Saturday, during the day, it's Mena fan wild in downtown Portland like it was a year ago. What are you two one, looking one at? One second. This is messed up. What is messed up? The YouTube's live, but it's just not. <sighs> oh, guys, what the fuck? It's going into Rumble. Rumble and Twitter, it's just for some reason not going on there. I don't care about excuses. Just can yep. we just fucking fix it? Yeah. So no one's hearing this right now, then. <clears throat> no, people are hearing it. It's people are tweeting. I mean, it's not on YouTube. Yeah, that's the one I'm fixing. New what? New YouTube stream because that one just wasn't working. So now we're just doing it again. Nope, it's still live on Rumble. Great, and we have Twitter. people listen on YouTube as well. So I mean, there's yes. you know. I don't... What are we doing here? It's going up again on a separate stream now. I had to make a new one. <clears throat> is this is that working now? It's not showing. It's saying upcoming. This yeah. might. This honestly might just be a YouTube problem currently. Yeah, YouTube's not working currently. Yeah, because I have a stream going mm -hmm. and I made a separate one, and still it's just not. Yeah, you think YouTube's not working in the world right now? Just on our. Just ours, the only one YouTube is not working? No, the back end of YouTube currently. What does that mean? I don't, I don't even know what that means. What's going on? Like literally the stream itself <clears throat> that it's connected to is uh -huh. just not being brought up for some reason. I okay. do the same thing like every day and it's just not. Why is it not working today? I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out. Mm -hmm. No, that wouldn't make a difference because I had it earlier the first time. And how's it sound on this? Not. So the, we had the one up for one minute. Why for the one minute that's working, I'm watching right now on the other YouTube. It went down. I can hear it fine. That's... Works totally fine. 
Just checking. Hmm? It's just not showing that we're live. Because I'm seeing that some people are saying it's live. So I don't know. It was live on YouTube. Someone's tweeting at me. Yeah. Here we go. We're live now. Okay. I I really don't understand what happened there. I understand. So are we live now on YouTube? We yes. Are. Okay. Okay. What do you want to say? People tell me it was live the whole time. Great. So just be listening to people on the message boards and responding to that? I uh, was that, and then it wasn't also showing up on mine. So I don't know if it was live for some people or not live for others. I don't know. Okay. Weird. Hmm? It's weird. What's well, weird? It seems like it was working. Yeah, that's that's why I'm confused. So why is it weird? Confused about what? That people were saying it wasn't live. Maybe they were fucking with you. Right. I didn't really believe them because it was the same as normal, I guess. So anyway, as I was saying, anyway. So yeah, so Portland tickets, like in the balcony, like I said, I was just saying some minutes ago, so you probably heard it, I apologize. The uppers, there are a bunch of seats down the floor. There aren't many at all. VIP is sold out. And the first balcony, a few, but like, you know, that's, and I, I get what people see at it's Easter weekend. It's very tough. I understand that. A normal weekend, I get it's totally different. Um, people are traveling. There's a Friday holiday. Tough to get back. You can get to Portland if you're in Massachusetts to get back. Easy that night. But go, totally get it. But if you're looking to go, uh, we have not promoted it. That's on me. Um, we'll tweet out now, Justin, that uh, some balcony mm. seats are still out there. Uh, and then, you know, great. I would love to have as many people as possible. You already have a really good crowd. Well, the show's going to be great. We're working hard on it. I'm looking forward to it uh, this night of redemption. So we shall see how it goes. We have lots of stuff coming in still. A lot of work to do in the next, uh, was it 10, 11 days? I think it's oh, nine, sorry, John, nine days. John Stewart just went down. Oh, no. Nine days? Definitely not nine days. That would be Thursday. Oh, that's right. Uh, 11 days. 11 days. <clears throat> yes, 11 days. So, yeah, a lot of work to do. Um, and I'm looking forward to it. Great. State Theater is awesome. It's right in downtown Portland. And Grady's is, you know, a good spot as well. Uh, it's only been the site of, I believe, one uh, sexual assault on the Minifan, correct, Justin? Uh, yes, recorded. That we know of. That we know yeah, of. that's not bad. Given our crowd and our client, that is not awful. So I expect that streak will continue. Um, that's a nice thing to kind of shoot for, to have two in a row. Uh, maybe have a male be assaulted this year by a female. Uh, that could, you think that could happen, Justin, or no? Of course. Okay, it's good. 2024. Uh, yeah, we're down with that. Or they being, wh whatever. Yeah, I would like to see that streak continue. Uh, and I will be in Portland definitely Friday night because I'll be there at the um, with my boy Chris uh, Sadako, whatever his name is, on Friday. So <clears throat> and then we'll be at Gritty's Mike and the Minifan. Mike and the Minifans, which is, a, as I said, a solo Kirk Minahan show uh, network YouTube property. Um, and then the show Saturday, which is going to be, I don't know. What do you think, Coleman? You have a lot to a lot of work. You guys have a lot of work to do. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Confident. Yeah. Uh, I think definitely it's gonna nervous. be a good time. Definitely nervous, but yeah, yeah, I think if you're not nervous, that's not not a good sign. Sure. Uh, I think I think one of the things you said um, before. <laughs> good point by this guy. Coleman's never once owned up to any issues. Yeah, it's YouTube's fault. The stream isn't working. <laughs> Coleman blames YouTube. It's the greater big YouTube. Tech. The, the greater YouTube. Yes. Big tech. Uh, I think I wouldn't tweet out great tickets are still available for the Portland Live. Should I get rid of that? I'd say uh, balcony tickets are still oh, available. Okay. Don't, don't, don't. That's false advertising. I'm not saying they're not great tickets, Justin, but delete oh, that. Okay. Put up. Balcony seats are still available. Great tickets would suggest that like, the front row is available. That's not fair to people looking. I would write some balcony seats are still available. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Yep. Some Should I be fair to the audience, Justin? Some balcony seats are still, still available. Uh, and, and as we speak now, Jared Carabas has announced he's with Underdog Fantasy. Yes. Live announcement. Wow. So congratulations to Jared. Who you may see a Portland. I don't know. Who knows yet? Did he uh, talk to you about that move at all? Like was a little bit, not much. I just knew he wasn't going to bar stool. Right. I figured those guys were there. Usually that's where he's going to go. So good for him. I mean, I wish he was here, but he'll still, he could still be part of the show. Um, Dave was saying, which is good. So. Uh, happy for him. Um, so uh, Whitney texted me yesterday and like literally was like, I want Justin's phone number. You should have given it to him. I was like, well, well, Justin, that's what you do. I do it on the air. No, perfect. That's your, what, do you, what do you mean perfect? You just said I should give it to him. No, yeah, that's that's a better idea. Yeah. Montante would like Whitney's phone number. Oh, oh my God. God. Don't, don't, you can't do that to Whit. That was fucking embarrassing the other day. That was like really sad. He's like, yeah, what do you think? Like at the beginning of the evening, he's like, oh, what are you, uh, you're five minutes early? Like he's trying to break his balls yeah, like they're equal. Slapping him on the ass. Just a if weird. You a, if you were a second round pick. I'd yeah. Be... <laughs> I was like, oh, you're so, just relax. Fucking relax. He's just another person. So 
Justin went to Olive Garden yesterday per his, my command. And uh, did you tweet out Justin or no? I'm sorry. I'm tweeting it out. Now. Okay. And uh, <coughs> um, consumed, had an appetizer, which was not on the schedule, on the agenda. Do you still want a few minutes? Uh, yeah, that'd be great. Perfect. Thank you. Just, How was the service? Service is great. Shout out Allison. Olive Garden, you can pay at the table, right? Yeah, they have. They I, have like I love a, that. Uh, like a every iPad there. restaurant should have that. I don't even why doesn't every restaurant have that? You figure with like COVID too, everyone would definitely. I'm not that. saying like where you and your where your where your grandfather goes to coffee with the other you know escaped Nazis. I'm just saying that you know like like and like a normal sit down like. All you ever do is wait. You wait for these goddamn things. You know, it takes forever, especially if you have kids. It's great, too, because, like, if you wanted to, like, get a refill on your drink, you just, like, tap a button, and they bring you more Coke. Yes. Bring you Pepsi. They, did, did, they have, did, they give you the, did you do it on, the, on there or no? No, I just gave cash. Uh, all right, 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 right. Because they make you ask, like, answer, like, 10 questions, like a consumer, like a service thing. But anyway, so you had, what, what, what did you have? What was your, the orders? What was the order you had? Uh, so I get there, mm -hmm. and I start off with the breadsticks. Yep. Um, How were they? They were good to start off. By the end, it was like it was work. Chewing like it was, I felt like sand in my mouth. Congratulations, by the way, to Harry Minahan the other day, who uh, joined the Subway Triple Crown Club. He had the foot long churro, pretzel, and cookie in oh, one way. sitting. Wow, there you go. It's impressive. Yeah, future future Justin. I was just about to say yeah. <laughs> he's eleven, so you know he's he's growing. Yeah, we, we all start somewhere. That's, That's true. Right. Yeah. So so you had all right. So you had the breadsticks. So I start off with the breadsticks, and sure. then you can hear in that clip she's like, oh, she's like, oh, do you want a couple more minutes? And I'm like, yeah, that'd be great. Um, can I start off with the? And then she just stands there, and I'm like, oh, I, I think she wants me to order something. Right. So I was like, oh fuck, and then I panicked, and I was like, ah, oh, toasted ravioli. Right. So I got the toasted ravioli. Mm. I ended up eating probably about like three quarters of that. Three. Okay. So I think they gave they probably gave you like ten. Yeah. And I probably ate like six and a half. Okay. Were they good? They were yeah, they were yeah. great. And then you had dinner. And then uh Here's soup, right? Yes. And then I ordered the uh seafood Alfredo. Right. And so by the time I got the seafood Alfredo, it was like it, I, I started feeling like full. Why were you eating then? What do you mean? Why'd you the, the thing we just had to have breadsticks, right? No, you said you said clean the plate. I didn't say I didn't say an appetizer. No, you didn't say an appetizer. I didn't say soup. I I didn't really touch the soup. You didn't touch soup, yeah. Okay. I had I had maybe like two spoons full. Did you clean the plate? Oh yeah. Good. Oh yeah. It was good. Oh yeah. Uh, there was no. Uh, then you had a dessert after. I went to Trader Joe's and got some ice cream. How was it? It was good. It was delicious. Okay. Can uh, you can you see why Whitney is is concerned? <laughs> he shouldn't be concerned. Well, this what's is, this what, is kind of like this? Well, is calm quick. He said you know he said ten thirty ish. Maybe we can get him now. Hello. Yeah, you got a minute, Justin. You, 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 you want to address let this, me, Justin? Let me, call, let me call. Let me call you in five minutes. Yeah, call us back. He's not happy. Why he should be? Well, we, we, we can address that. Uh, we can address that later. Um, so how many calories did you have in total? I think someone tweeted out it was just under, like it was just over four thousand. <sighs> Jeez. What'd you have yesterday, Coleman? I had my tuna salad. I saw that. What'd you have for dinner? I had uh, like baked in the oven chicken. Okay. One one piece of chicken. And uh, I, I splurged a little bit. I air fried some sweet potato fries. That's not bad. That's it's solid, though. Fucking French fries? Sweet potato fries. It's the same thing. They're better for you. And they were air fried. Two are unbelievable. You well, know. I figured four thousand calories. I could exactly. I yeah. could afford no, to maybe. As, have. Oh, you got like three weeks on me now. As I said to Whitney, if either one of you gain a pound, the bet is off. I'm, I'm not down gaining. ten pounds. You're not down ten pounds. Want to bet? You weighed yourself. I have not, but okay. I, I, you're not. You're not. You have, I don't want to. I don't want to get in your bits. I also got but, a run in. What? I also got a, like a, like a nice jog in. Last did you do a one k? What did you do? No, I did like two point five. Really? Five miles? Yeah. Around where? Around the. Area around the area, a little trail. I had to run back here. I left my charger, so came back in, got that. There's a trail right behind here. Yep. You know, if you go down, is that the trail you're doing? Yep. yep. Okay. Right down the street, boom, trail. Yep. No Minna fans there yesterday, Justin? Not that one like looked at me. Yeah. There was one who like walked by and like just made eye contact with me. Right. And I was yeah. pretty sure I'm That's like, pretty much it. Yeah, it looks like I'm in a fan, but right. But um, but the most concerning part was I was reading the chat at one point and then and people were saying that they were calling. Uh, they were going to call the restaurant uh -huh. and tell them that I'm a YouTuber 
and my thing is, is I <laughs> eat vomit. I eat as much food as I can, <laughs> and then I throw up all over the table and leave. But they didn't do that, right? I did not. No, they they did that. The they man, did actually do it. The manager came over and talked to well, me. Oh, I didn't hear that one. Dude, people stop calling. You can hear him Weird. in the background. Like, he's on Twitter. Hey, do you do a Twitter live stream? Yeah, it's a podcast. I'm trying to eat uh, 10 breadsticks and then... Uh... <laughs> no, no, no. They're saying that in the chat. I don't do that. You're not going to do that to I, me? I swear on my life. I'm, I don't, I'm not puking. I'm not... It's a, have you heard of Barstool Sports before? Yes. Yes, I'm with Barstool Sports. It's a legitimate podcast. Okay. These people, it's people in the chat saying they're... they're... I just got... I got... I got two phone calls from there, two separate people. Yeah, it's not. I swear to God. You can look me up if you want. All right, that's not what you do. All I, right. I'll take I, your word on I it. I swear to God. I will give you my that's name. I do not puke a ball. That's, that's the worst thing imaginable. That's I, why it's like... I, I, that would be the... I swear to God. Well, my, tell, tell your stream is to stop calling. Yes. Stop. I'm, okay. Stop. <laughs> there were so many people watching this, too. It was fucking insane. So so that's that's a little over-exaggerated. I know, but it's total number of people watching. Not, not at the same time. No, I know, but I'm saying that's the amount of people who saw it at yes, some point. I think, yeah, I think, yeah. No, it's not concurrent. By the time I, I left, it was at like 50,000. 50, I, I think it's over 100,000 now. Yeah, I think it's like 120,000 or something now. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so anyway, so so he 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 kept, and then they people obviously that didn't deter them from calling. They, sure. They kept calling and calling. Right. And uh, Yeah, that's not going to help when you do that. When I when I was leaving, he, uh, he, he said uh, this. Awesome. Thank, Thank you, you so guys. much. Yeah, have a great night. Thank you. Have a good one, guys. Your friends are brutal. We have four more. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, they're not my friends. <laughs> <laughs> I said your fans. Oh, uh, yeah, they're not my. They're Kirk's fans, but. Right. This guy was this guy. seemed like he was in on the joke at all. Oh, not at all. Not friendly. He he, he looked. If you could take, he looked like nipples. Oh, he sounded like, like he looks like. I think someone said like like this dude's really putting his community college management. Well, that's not nice. The guy's yeah. trying to make a living. Yeah. No, but he was he was not in on the joke, um, at all. Uh, at the end of, of the clip Coleman was running, he actually goes, he's like, he's like, he's like, yeah, tell him to stop calling or else you're getting kicked out. I was like, oh, okay. Like, so you get me thrown out. I'm not throwing up on the fucking table. I think that's going like, to help you... if you say that to them. Like, they, then they're just going to call more. Well, I, I know. But like, what, what do I say? Keep calling? You well, want... the, yeah, but the, the guy's right there. You, who do you think, who do you suspect? The bat, the assholes or uh, like, was, who's calling? Just I think, like, I think it was just random people. Yeah, just calling. Just just it was no one, no one, <laughs> I, no one I saw. It was kind of funny. Oh, of course it was funny, but like he was like right over he was right over my shoulder the entire. He just puked. Like, what would the matter if you puked? I just it's legal. Like, what is it? What are arrest you for vomiting? No, but I think he's serving you these endless breadsticks. If I just threw up all over the it table, it would be kind of at that point. It'd be kind of funny. It would be kind of funny, but also be, you'd be throwing up all over this poor Ugh, woman. That's this, true. Yeah, Allison. Poor Allison right, would have had right, to clean That's it. true. No, you're right. No, you're right. So you're at right. that point, after that happened too, I I whipped out the hundred dollar bill and I just put it on the table and was just like, you did? Yeah. How much was the bill? I didn't see it, but I, would, I'm, I think someone was probably like 33. Jesus Christ. It's great publicity for them. Yeah. Where, I haven't been, I've not seen, where is it in Patriot Place? Is it in Paper, Patriot Place? No, proper? so it's like. Over so by like. Uh, at Bass Pro Shop. Yeah. It's right next to Bass Pro Shop. So if you're <laughs> heading over there by like Trader Joe's and we're Christmas tree shop. Gotcha. Uh, gotcha. Uh, okay. It's like, I don't know if you. And just it. water? Just water. Okay, good. Just water. But yeah, no, I'm feeling great. Obviously, I felt like a fucking absolute shit after that last night. Mm-hmm. But, um. I don't know. Uh, Whitney was pissed, so I'll be curious. Like he wants to get out of it, so don't Whitney. Don't if anything, double down. Double double down. Kirk, mm. Kirk will do it too because he because he's convinced now that that it's a W for Coleman. So yeah, because you want to cost me money. I don't. I you don't, want. I don't want. You want Whitney to beat me in the bet. I want. I want yeah. Whitney to win this bet. Yes. You know, Coleman is running. He's eating nothing. You know, a few French fries, but you know that's just fine. Sweet Whatever. potato. Yeah. Sweet potato. How many fries? Uh, like a handful. Like, what did you have this morning for breakfast? <clears throat> I didn't have anything yet, no. What would you have, Justin? Nothing. You haven't eaten anything I'm yet today. Full. Yeah, I'm still full. You haven't eaten anything yet today, Coleman? No, I'm, I'll probably go back, have like an egg or two. That's about it. Okay. Wow. What do you mean? I'm, I'm doing well. You're feeling good? You're going to run again today? Oh, yeah. Oof. I didn't get a full lift in last night, so yeah. like I want to do the run lift later on. Just think, think of how much pasta I ate yesterday, too. You could probably take like two weeks off. Lift where? Where are you lifting? The apartment? Yeah, I have a gym. Oh, in your apartment yeah, complex? Yeah, yeah. Yep. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Which is nice. <laughs> I, I don't need to go anywhere. No, it's, it's true. right there. True. Easy access. I'm good. Um, all right, so wait for Whitney to call back. Uh, I saw Turtle Boy tweet out this morning that a very old enemy, one, uh, really, other than Merchant, one of the first, is that uh, someone calling that? Uh, calling oh. Oh. Uh, Brian Riccio, the older listeners remember him, hated the show, uh, part up with Murchison and Shirley at EEI. 
Um, and then was early on here, Mike almost got to fight with him outside of, he was he took her to Tone's side, Richard. Richard's a, a bad guy, just a scumbag. He died yesterday. Turtle Boy tweeted out that he had heard, I can confirm that's true, he's dead. Um, had some sort of heart attack or liver or something. A wretched human being who literally, like I joke around, obviously sneakers drives me crazy sometimes, but sneakers legitimately made a mistake. He did not know Tibbetts had this history, would not have done that. Riccio did things like that, like 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 tried to out my kids, like tried to, you know, say where I lived and, you know, would 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 you know do all these things and post my address and pictures of my house and all kinds of crap. Um, and partnered with Merson, tried to really ruin my life. He died. And I saw Turtle Boy tweet out these sad in the way that he lived such a miserable life and he feels bad for him. I am sorry as well. I'm sorry that he didn't live longer and suffer more. And I hope his last moments were alone. I'm sure they were. And just full of misery because he was a terrible, terrible human being. And I see some of these people who are extreme lefties tweeting out what a great guy he was. And you can think that. I'm just telling you he was a really bad, bad, bad human being. So I am glad that he's dead. And I hope that it causes misery to whatever people like him. I can't imagine there are any because he was a horrible person. I don't even know if you remember him, Justin, or not. I don't know if you were around for him. Uh, and the because he he was really like 2019 was Canada. yes like he, yeah he moved on. I think he was more of an EEI enemy, if that's correct. Correct. He tried early on here, but it was just like it's yeah it's not working. Like we he, don't you know yeah we have, uh, we have Whitney back. Oh, we have Whitney back. Okay. Yes. All right. Hey, what's up? What's up? So you call? Hey, so you texted me yesterday? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes, Ryan. Do you know the guy you're going against in this competition? His mother pays for his cell phone bill. Like Maria <laughs> Coleman. Oh, what? what? <laughs> that is true. We have we have we have we have seen that before. What what is your but take you on can't. that? I mean, what is your take on this? Well, I, I I originally thought like he's throwing it just because he's so obsessed with you. But right. I hadn't listened to yesterday when I saw that clip of him mowing down breadsticks. Mm-hmm. And then I went back and listened this morning to the to the parts that you guys were discussing it, and he does seem pretty sure of himself and that this will work. I'll tell you this, Justin. Eating Olive Garden and 10 breadsticks doesn't matter if you're only eating that during the day. Like, you're not... You're not going to lose weight, but yes, I will. Okay, what is your, what is your, explain to him your method because nobody understands it. So my method is, and first of all, I'm not doing this every day. That was a one day thing. Okay. Explain it. That turned into, so I'm only, e- yep. So, sorry, go ahead. So I'm only eating between 11 and six mm-hmm. every day, mm-hmm. every day on Sunday. I went out with my, you went to Olive Garden on Sunday, Whitney, and you went to Olive Garden back to back days to be clear. With my, no, you went Sunday. Yes, I went, I just, yes. That's why yes. I went yesterday. Yeah, you that's went, why I went, cause, cause I went two days in a row. I went out. I went out to lunch with my family for St. Patrick's Day, so we went to the nice uh, Irish restaurant, Olive Garden. Right. Remember that joke from yep. yesterday? Yeah, it, it was a hit. Um, and then uh, Kirk was like, that, "That's crazy. How could you do this? Like, that's you're throwing. You're pretty much throwing the competition." I said I had one breadstick, which I don't believe, but yeah. Um, and no then, one goes in. Yesterday on the show, there's, no, there's no chance. No chance. None. Go ahead. Yesterday on the show, I said I'll go there and eat ten breadsticks. So I went there, ate ten breadsticks, and. A whole bunch of oh God! Yeah, yeah, so he asked, so he asked to he asked for you to explain the plan like that. <laughs> What's the plan? What kind of explanation? The plan is I'm I'm going to I'm, I'm forget going to, the Olive Garden. What's the plan going forward? I'm lowering the intake of things I normally eat. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let's say I'm, I normally eat 100. percent I'm probably going to be hovering around like 60 to 60. Oh, you claim you've lost 10 pounds already? I I do. Okay, I you, have. you had 5,000 really? calories yesterday. I yes, which is which equates to one. Point three pounds. If that, if if I didn't, if I didn't do anything yesterday, if I did what? not, if I did not burn any calories, all I ate yesterday was Olive Garden. You had five thousand calories. No, that's not true. You had an ice cream after. Okay, so let's say let's call it six thousand. Oh my okay. god! <laughs> yeah, fucking ice cream. So let's call it six thousand. Six thousand. I burned zero calories, which I'm sure you did. You burned zero. I'm sure that's not. It, it's impossible to burn zero. Okay, calories. you burned eight calories. No, fine. No, I probably okay. burned somewhere around three thousand. You definitely didn't. But go ahead. I definitely did. Okay. Um. Did you yeah. work, Justin? Did you work out yesterday? I did not yesterday. So how'd you burn three thousand so calories burn 3, yesterday? You burn calories, Justin. Just you don't burn three thousand calories, yes, Justin. I'm not gonna come here to lie. I do. Justin, 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 I do. Justin, you have no idea what you're talking about. Justin, right now. you're a fucking fat ass. Exactly. I'm not. That's why I know I'm, I'm burning, talking about. You don't. I burn three thousand calories doing. You don't. No, yes, then how'd you get so fucking fat then? Because I eat more than three thousand calories. Right. Okay. So you have three thousand and one every day. No, but I you pro- did that yesterday. Yeah, exactly. But you had a fat ass day yesterday, Justin. You didn't lose ten pounds yesterday. I, I. I am down. Justin, 10. you said you lost three pounds yesterday. I, ne- I never said you that. You just said that. 
No, I didn't. You did. You, like a, two minutes ago, you said that. No, I, I since Friday, since okay. the weigh-in, I bet you I'm down around maybe, maybe not around, probably anywhere from eight to eleven pounds. <laughs> so, so Justin, listen, I, you, I, I can weigh myself right now. You're going, and prove it you're to you. going, no, good. You're going eleven to six. I love, I love that. That's a great way to lose weight. Now. Ideally, we're not eating ten breadsticks and an ice cream, but whatever. Correct. Eleven to six. My things for you. My things for you. Are you done for a hundred days with soda? Yeah, he hasn't had it. I haven't had soda in hundred. And you. Days. And you. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I thought you always. I thought you drank a bunch of soda. I apologize. If you if you look Check at if you if you look at if you look at the menu, like it's a clock. Justin eats eleven to six. Like he just eats that part of the menu, basically seven hours. And worth. the clock. Yes, and the clock itself. <laughs> So, Justin, the other thing is, if you just 11 to 6 mm-hmm. and not always Olive Garden and, and walk three miles a day, dude, at a slow pace, you will win this competition. Wait. But are you, is there any plan of, on, of, of exercise? It just, it'll take you, three nope. miles will take you 50, to, 50 minutes to an hour going slow. You're tall. And that'll, that will crush weight with 11 to 6. Will you do walks? I, I've, been, I've been walking... Six miles a day. I didn't do it yesterday because I was. I, 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 I Why have walk when you can run? Six miles a day. Six, you, I've been doing ten. Why, how did you weigh three hundred seventy pounds? It was, first of all, now, oh no, Coleman, no. like you're running everywhere. Oh, I am. Coleman I, did two and a half miles yesterday. Yeah. Eating salads. Did chicken? What that, that, would that take you? Uh, like twenty five minutes. You, you know, he's not going six miles per hour. Why not? That's ten minutes a mile. Nice job. I'm twenty four years working old. out here. You're you're not doing anything. Yeah, no. you're being purposely combative, but like you, I you're totally so. wrong. You had ten breadsticks yesterday. You tell me you lost weight. I don't think I lost weight. Also, yesterday. not all calories burn the same way. Correct. You're just, like so different. So you lost eleven pounds in three days. You went to the Olive Garden twice, and you haven't exercised. I have exercised. <laughs> I mean, it hasn't had worked out. That doesn't make any sense. Like Wilson, you, under, Wilson, you understand why nobody Wilson, thinks that makes sense, right? Yeah, people are people are. I guarantee you, people right now are going, "Wow, Kirk is just wrong on this." Who? Where? I I I think I think just a three thousand. I don't. I think you definitely burn calories doing just a normal day of not working out, but it's Correct. not three thousand. My my question for you, because there's money on the line. Like, you live with your grandfather. You said right. Yes, Bubba. Yeah. He's a good man. You swear? Do you swear on your grandfather right now that you're not throwing this on purpose? I swear on my grandfather's life. Well, I told you yesterday, if he, if either one of them gain an ounce, the bet is off. Wait, I you... know, but yeah, I know, and I respect it. I, that's a very fair, that's a, that's yeah, a fair the... compromise for my worries with him. Throwing I wouldn't. This I, would, I wouldn't. My do thought that. is he could lose, he could lose two pounds, and just know as long as I don't, as long as I lose a pound. Even and then, even then, I, I, I would not, feel. I, I am feel, down ten pounds as we speak. We're not counting your piss. We I know, but I think that's piss. probably like water. That might yeah, be that's like all it is. Yeah, dude, it's good. In two weeks like from now, that's not going to matter. Pounds. Yes, yeah. it will, because the starting weight was three. Uh, wait, were you at least impressed with that? That I drank a gallon of water before I weighed in? Yes. Yeah, that's great. Yes. That's great. Yeah, it's only I, I've, get been, so I've been impressed with everything until I saw you eating. It's two days old. 4, this, calories made this fucking bet on. Made this bet on Thursday. It's Tuesday. You've been in the Olive Garden twice. You had ice cream yesterday, and that's the only day we saw. What is? What are you eating today? What are you eating today? Uh, I was probably gonna go home, have some hamburger, uh, no bread. I'm, I'm cutting out uh, like white pasta, mm-hmm. uh, white bread, That's huge. white That's bread. Huge. Definitely gonna cut that out. And, sure. and, and like I said, I've I've been off. I haven't drank anything except water. You also had two big heaping servings of Gus's shepherd's pie at Gus's party heap- the other day. Two big confirmed by Gus. And yes. That's all I ate that day. I know, but what, that was the day before the weigh-in, wasn't it? Or did you weigh nope, in Friday? After that was after. That was Saturday. Wait, I'm I'm in a, so, I'm in a good I, spot. I will say, like Coleman, Coleman right now. Coleman it looks does great. Worry me that he's running and eating salad with grilled chicken, but oh, yeah. but like Mike mentioned on the part I listened yesterday of the show, like that won't it's not that won't last. If you try eating healthy for a hundred days, you'll crack. <laughs> Can't and you dead? drink, Justin? You don't drink, right? Coleman doesn't drink. Uh, I do drink, but probably like it averages out. Like when I do drink, I'll have like two high noons. Or Coleman something. also told me. No, that, no beers. Of no, course, no beers. beers. No beers. Coleman also told me he's not swallowing. He spits it out now. Yep. Right, Coleman? Confirmed. There's yeah. four <laughs> calories in that. So he he, made, he he promised me that. Coleman hits the ganj, though. He does not. Nope. No drugs. No, nope. I'm drug testing him during this Dude, process. Love it. If Justin gains, if, Justin, if, if Justin gains 100 pounds, maybe I'll pay you. I don't know. <laughs> no, no. If either one of them gain weight, 
They so, should owe us 500. I actually agree with that. Do you, you fine with that, Justin? 100%. I'm good with that. If I You're weigh fine? more okay. than 360 pounds at the end of this, I will. That's what you weighed in at, 359? 359. I okay. will give you $1,000. Why not 10,000? You're so confident. Okay. I'll do 10,000 to your 5,000. I don't have 5,000. That's okay. not the bet. I don't have 10,000. No, but you're super. I have 5,000. You 5, will have some mini golf. <laughs> uh, well, I have some doubts after yesterday. Some real doubts after yesterday. Wait, no. Yeah, we saw the course. It's we, not, pretty. not pretty. Not only that, but you know, I like Hank. But you, you think Hank's going to be able to govern these idiots playing mini golf? It's all they do is hang around that fucking basketball court all day anyway. No, he will be trying to get them to play just to rattle us even more. That's like, true. He's way more fucking demented than we think. I actually that was a good day for you yesterday with that bet, honestly. With with uh, the mini golf, yeah, yes. Yeah. Now I'll say the way it looked like the greens roll is good for you, but true. If it's complete like clown nose, Happy Gilmore type shit, then 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 that that's a win for me. Yeah. If right. it was a normal. Mini golf course, just you putted around a couple things, but when we're going through the clown's nose, toilet and, and, seats, and into and, the into yeah. the windmill, like yeah, that's 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 when it really could affect you. And I'm sure when when I'm in Chicago and Justin, we're not around. I'm sure Justin Coleman will be eating salads, and oh yeah, running. Wait, and, I'm uh, telling you, I, just trust me. It seems like it seems like Justin's a wit guy I, now. I, so. I, I do, I do. Like I have a real belief in you, dude. I you're like crazy enough that I feel like you're competitive. And I don't think Coleman has a competitive bone in his body. Oh. I really don't. So you've, you've woken something. I don't, there. Coleman. You don't think so? I don't. He had a, no. compet- he had a competitive bone. He, he, uh, he mom pays his cell phone bill. Yeah, he had a competitive yeah. bone in his body once. He met Greg Luganis. They had dinner and they went out after. It was fantastic. <laughs> I, I I believe in Coleman. I think Coleman's going to get it done. Justin, I think is going to is going to lose four pounds with this. Is Justin's strategy is going to be Justin thinks he's Justin's got that bad quality. He thinks he's smart, but he's stupid. And it's going to bring him down. But I That's know what I'm talking about when it comes to the calories. You don't. But Ju- Justin, I've lost why weight. Do you I've say stayed you know? in shape. Why, have you, have why you, do you, have you say ever... you know? Because I've done these weight loss things before, and I've talked to people. I've talked to doctors. Have you ever won one? Uh, it wasn't ever a competition. You're obese, though. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it to be mean, but I like... did lose 60 pounds at one point. Yeah, okay, you got it back, right? Correct. Yes, that's some. Have saying. you ever lost 60 pounds in your life? Uh, yes. no, I don't yep. know. <laughs> check, 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 score one for Justin. That's true. That's a good point. It's He'd a good be point. like the machinist guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm not looking loose. Yes. Well, Justin, Justin's like, I know what I'm talking about because I'm fat is not a great defense. But your idea that I had well, six, I had 6,000 calories yesterday. You think that equates to like 10 pounds? That doesn't. No, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. What I'm saying is it doesn't equate to losing 11 pounds in three days. Okay. Well, I, well, then. No, well said. Six thousand yeah, calories a day doesn't equate to any loss ever. Yeah, I, I mean, unless you're doing a triathlon <laughs> right. after the fucking calories, dude. Justin walked from and, Olive and Garden yeah. to, to his ice cream place and considered that his exercise, right, Justin? That was that was a nice exercise. <laughs> yeah, that was it. He walked a tenth of a mile and had ice cream. I don't know. We'll see. Well, Justin, my last my last thing would be three fifty nine was the weigh in. If you get to three twenty nine or lower, it's a win. So oh, for 30 sure. Thirty pounds and you got this. Okay, well, I'm a third of the way there. All right, we'll talk to you. All right, good yeah. job to you guys. He sounds confident, Justin. He does, actually. He should be. Okay. I mean, I, 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 do you understand what he's saying, Coleman, or no? I mean, no. maybe he'll turn to be right, Justin. I don't know. Can't wait. Can't wait for did that. You, did you just, like, let all that food sit yesterday after you had it, too? What do you mean? Like, did you just... No, I, I danced. You danced. Well, I mean, I, I, don't, like, I don't get your... <laughs> like, like you're, you're, you seem to think that you burn, like, hundreds and hundreds of calories a day doing nothing. You Yes, I literally... Burn probably three thousand calories. If I, Justin, if I was you in the at home, yes, I do. Justin, you don't burn three thousand calories yes, doing nothing. You're I not do. nine thousand pounds. I, You're not. You don't burn three thousand calories. You don't. Okay. You would weigh nothing. Okay. Well, based on what? Based on just science. That you burn three thousand calories by sitting there. If I sat there in a coma, ding. Three thousand calories. Ding. Yes. Maybe maybe not in a coma, but like just doing. Doing this. How many per calories do you think you burn if you run five miles? Uh, if, if I, probably an extra 1,200. So you burn fewer calories by running than by doing nothing? No. I, in, that, in the time I, burn, I, I ran five miles, I burned 1,200 calories. Okay, that's like an hour for you? Oh, an hour and a half. Okay, but 3,000 calories a day if you do nothing. For 24 hours, yes. Okay, if you do nothing. Correct. Okay. Like, define, like... Not like this. you said, just sitting around. You said just sitting around. If I watched Battlestar Galactic, if I watched all three thousand, if you sit there and watch TV, burn three thousand calories. Yep. So if you sat there 
in your mind then, you ate 3,000 calories a day just doing nothing. I would stay... You'd I would, stay the same. Correct. Okay, that is I definitely pro- not true. I would actually probably lose weight because I would lose a lot of muscle mass. Okay. Do we have any proof of this, Coleman? Have you looked this up? I just tried. Look, up, look, up, look up how many calories do I burn a day? This says uh, without any activity can range from 1,300 to 2,000. Yeah, for, yeah that's probably for like Kirk. Look up like calorie burning calculator. I'm right on this. I'll, I'll die on this fucking hill. Okay, great. So that's your strategy. Then. You're not going to exercise at all. I, I just set up an exercising it, along with that. Walking is not exercising. Yes, it is. It's definitely not. Okay. Well, it's not. I mean, it's like a... It, it most certainly is. Okay. Okay, here we, 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 have, we have, what is this, calculator.net? <laughs> yeah, this is the mm-hmm. first one I clicked on. Okay. Do-do-do. Home and daily life, there you go. Um, now put Playing in. Playing with kids, we can check that off. Yep, he's good with that. Moderate yep. effort, yeah. Okay. Is this like a... Sex, no. Here, I'm on the calorie cal- calculator right here. Mm-hmm. I'm on this right here. Age. Okay. Result. Age. 27. Male. Mm. Height. Six foot three. Wait. I'm going to put in for 360. No, that's not what you weigh, though. That's not what you said you weighed. Let's do 348, you said. You lost 12 pounds. 348. Okay. Okay. Now, uh, sedentary, little or no exercise, light exercise, uh, moderate exercise, Mm -hmm. active. Sedentary, you said. Yep. Sedentary. Oh, my God. What? Maintain weight. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Maybe I was... Wait, 30, just, just, just 30, 30, 3,167 calories. Uh-huh, I don't believe it. Okay, well. I'm seeing that at 348 pounds, if you just watch TV for three hours, uh-huh. you're burning 487 calories. Okay, I don't believe that. Okay, well, I guess. But I mean, I just don't believe science it. Science denier. Okay, I, well, well, I, mean, I just don't believe it. I, I trust the science. Well, if you burn these calories, why are you so fat? Because I eat more than that. Well, you ate more than that yesterday. You said you lost weight. I normally would eat more than that. Now, well, I yesterday eat- you did. You said you lost eleven pounds in three days, but yesterday you had six thousand calories. Yes, because the days before, I did not do that. But I mean, you ate the Olive Garden the other day, and the other day you had two heaping of shepherd's pie. Yeah, which was probably the shepherd's. That's, pie. that's the only three the days of it so far, probably, Justin. The shepherd's pie was probably twelve hundred calories. That's three days you've had it all three days. If you eat, if you eat twelve hundred calories of. Actual oil, fatty oil. But you ate other stuff that day. No, I didn't. That's just bullshit. Okay, well, I guess either you're a science denier or you're calling me a liar. No, no, you're lying. Sure. What do you want me to say? That you're lying. I think you probably have an uncomfortable relationship with food, and you're probably lying about oh, it. Oh, it's very, it's that's a very comfortable that, relationship. I'm saying you're lying about it. You're lying comfortable. about it. Um, but no. That's a six, 7,000 calorie day yesterday, minimum. No, I think it's more than 140 calories on those breadsticks, personally. Plus the Olive Garden. Okay, well, I mean, I guess. Too. I mean, I'm just saying, like, I, I, I'm not sure. I, I'm not trying necessarily believe what Subway, Olive Garden, Chipotle like, tell you all the time. Okay, so let's say there's 200 calories in them. That's 2,000. Okay. Right. How much do you think is in the pasta, in the seafood pasta? 2,000 at least. Okay, it said 1,400. So let's call it, okay, 2, let's call it another 2,000. Okay, right. so now I'm up to 4,000 calories. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, the toasted ravioli, it said there were 700 calories. 1,000. Okay, 1,000. Now I'm up to 5,000 calories. Right. At least, I, I, this is this is right. we're being generous. Ice cream, ice cream. Yeah. I had one ice cream sandwich. <laughs> yeah, let's call it five hundred calories. So sixty five hundred. Oh, okay. Well, we just added an extra thousand on there for right, fifty eight hundred. Whatever you 5, want. Fifty five hundred. Okay, sure. Fifty five hundred. And I burned doing nothing yesterday. I burned three thousand calories. Okay, so that's plus twenty five hundred calories yesterday. So you gained weight yesterday. I probably gained less than a pound. Yes. So how'd you lose eleven pounds in those two days then? One water weight. Okay. And two, I've been exercising. Mm-hmm. In three, you've been walking. And walking. That's not exercise, but yeah, that is exercise. Running is exercise, but yeah. No, nope, no, nope, walking is exercise. You think it's better exercise than running? Uh, I'm not I'm saying I'm not. We're not. I'm not ranking exercise for me. Probably okay. yes. Okay, yeah. It's it's definitely better for me to do two hours of walking on the treadmill than. Well, you're not going to do that, but yeah, I, I have been doing that. You've definitely not been doing okay. that. Okay, I do the walk on the treadmill incline too. <sighs> we well, you shouldn't be. You're 24. You should be running. Well, yeah, I'm just saying, like, sprinting. If you don't beat this guy, if you don't beat this guy, if you don't beat this guy, I am cooking right now. You better kill this guy. I'm I'm locked in. I'm locked in. There seems to be so so falsely arrogant than Justin. You're falsely arrogant in this. You're just like, you're just like. What'd you say to me? You're falsely arrogant in this. Careful. You don't understand the calorie burning. Well, I've done it. I've lost weight. Like, I've done it before. I exercise. But but the fact that you. I watch what I eat. The fact that you don't think that I burn calories doing nothing is just. I think you think that's a strategy. And if you do that, that's how you're going to lose. Sure. What do you want me to say? I'm going to win. You are 360 pounds. Like, I mean, it's not I like you're... I 350 pounds. Thank you. You're not. But it's, it's you know... Can, can I weigh myself? And you may not. No, 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 no. 
No. So anyway, same about Riccio. Just a just a dog shit guy. So I am glad that he's dead. Um, uh, very happy that he died. Like I'd be happy if Murchison died or Shirley died. I texted Shirley because they were friends. I texted her the uh, news that he was dead. She did not respond. Oh, that's too bad. Let's call her. We'll see if she do. We have her number, right, Justin? Uh, Uh, you reached uh, Shirley. Oh, that's too bad. That's too. That's. Let's call Bob. <laughs> we'll carpool uh, to the wake, maybe. Your call has been forwarded. <clears throat> Interesting also, Coleman, that Justin said these. Uh, just, this is Justin all the way. It's like, I'm out with the Kirk Minich. I'm with Barstool Sports. Yeah. Well, I thought he would know Barstool. I had people. What do you mean by that? Because it's, it's. Why would you know the Kirk Minich show? It's in Massachusetts. I've been a big figure there. What do you mean? What does that mean? Because it was, it was more of a why general, would you, what, what general umbrella. Because I was well, in the well, moment. I was like, why, hey. Why not a specific umbrella? I would have gotten more specific. But I mean, I I'm a pretty big deal in Massachusetts. I, I think, think you're a huge deal. You're the so biggest I mean, deal. But, but Justin, when he's push comes to shove, is a barstool guy. Oh, totally. It's not no, believe me, I remember where he came from first. He came from, um, what was that chat? Not uh, Reddit, the other one. We had for a while, we got rid of, what was that other chat world? Discord? Discord. Oh, he's a yeah, Discord yeah. guy I'm... at the start. That's where he's from. So, like, he's a barstool yep. guy. He's a barstool guy before. Uh, I was with the show before the Discord. Before, before barstool. He's a barstool first guy. Right, like as he you might. are, as you are too. But Justin, I Justin pretends like yeah, he's but he's not. he's shooting towards Barstool. I'm not only that, but I'm Justin like away. wants people to think, oh, I'm KMS for life, like like exactly. oh, KMS VL, whatever that shit is. Yeah. VLS but KMS. down deep, he's a. Did you say VLS first? He's a Barstool. I don't guy. even say VLS. No, but you're you are, but but you don't. There's the people get down on you, but you're not you're not hiding it. Yeah, no. Justin I mean, hides it like he hides the I fucking there, food you know? that's you know he's got the food in his trunk of his car. He's gonna eat when the show's over. Yeah, he's a hider. Name's Tim. Yeah, he's a hider. He's a hider. But he's not going to eat today. What's for lunch today, Justin? I'm going to eat today. Yeah, I, like I said, probably some hamburger. Right. Um, yeah, probably just some hamburger, maybe some eggs. Some fries um, with that? Yeah, I'll probably have a couple of fries. You're going to have some fries with that? Maybe. I don't know. Just to rub it in your face. Oh, I care. I'm rich before I'm rich after. Yeah, but you're just going to be wrong on this. How am I going to be wrong on it? I'm going to lose a shit ton of weight. Well, so Coma's still going to beat you. Yep, not nah, wrong. Yes. Burger. Com- French fries? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to have... Why don't you have a shake with that, Justin? Turkey. If it's just less than 3,000 cal, why don't you have a shake with that? Why don't you add... Why don't you have a shake with it? 100 bucks, I will. Why do I pay $100 to drink a shake? Well, if I if I win. Win the bet? Yeah. Why don't you have 100 shakes? I'll give you $100. No, well, that's well, that's not... Why don't you have econ- 10 shakes today? Economically favorable for me. I'll pay... Give, give, me, give, me the, give, me the, give me the bill for yesterday and today. I had 10 shakes today. Ten shakes. I can't do ten shakes. Oh, oh why not? So you would say shake burned. denier? Oh, good. I mean, why not? So I, fucking tough. Because I, I can't. Why not? Drink ten shakes. Why not? Because my, my stomach's not big enough. Oh, I think you watch Battlestar Galactic and drink shakes all day. What happened to that tough guy? I would. I would. Huh? Lose you, would, guy, you, lose would, you would. You would. You would. What? You would lose weight. I would lose weight. If you had ten shakes. Uh, I, mean, I don't know how many calories are in a shake. How many calories are in a McDonald's? Cho- you like chocolate shake or no? Oh, they got the shamrock shakes going. The green, oh, they, they, it's perfect. How many do they have? I mean, how many calories in a shamrock shake? Ooh, 460. 460 with 63. So your, ca- so your caloric intake per day is what? So your, your argument is that you can have, eat whatever the fuck you want as long as it falls under the purview of what caloric number? If it falls, if I, if I 3, eat 3,000 or less. If I eat less than 2,000, if I eat less than, Three thousand and exercise every day. I am okay. I'm feeling good. All right. So what's a nice three thousand calorie McDonald's meal today? Oh well, you can't eat it all at once. Well, you, you did yesterday. Yeah, but then I feel like shit, and I don't want to work out afterwards. You're naturally burning calories. All right. I'm getting a lot of rules. I didn't realize there were so many rules for these this guy. Are, these aren't rules. These are just facts. Kurt. So if he has four hamburgers. Two orders of fries and four shakes. You are under the three thousand. This is the super size me thing. In reverse. What do you? What would you get if you were at McDonald's right now? I would get uh, two double hamburgers, take off the bread, just eat the. No, no, I'm saying if if there was no Beko, if it was oh, just just um, t- t- two hot and spicy McChickens, only ketchup. Uh, 
see, I always debate like in my mind, do I do I do the double the double cheeseburger is so much more expensive. You get the, the cheeseburgers in addition to that. Yeah, I'm not gonna eat just hot and spicy with chicken. I don't know. Are those nuggets? I don't eat. No, do a McGangbang. No, yeah, that's great. Um, Are those nuggets? The Mc- no, they're like chicken sandwiches. Oh, I got you. Okay, yeah. Two hot and spicy McChickens. Two ketchup. chicken sandwiches, yeah. And then normally I would go, like I said, it's like a coin flip on whether I want to spend the extra money for the slice of cheese because it's like an extra four bucks. I'll for an extra for a piece of cheese? Because you can get you can get two McDoubles <coughs> for four dollars, or oh, you I see get, what you're saying. You get a double cheeseburger. Not cheese on the chicken. No. I'm sorry. Okay, go ahead. So yeah. then I would get let's just let's just call it. It's I don't want to spend it. Let's, I'll get two McDoubles. Yep. Only ketchup, so I get. Two chicken sandwiches, two McDoubles. Two McDoubles, which is two pieces of meat with a slice of cheese in between it. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, fries? Large fry and a large water. If this was November, it would be a large root beer. Oh, there's root beer. So oh, I'm a big root beer guy. Oh, I'm, a, I'm a big, oh, the McDoubles. What root beer do they have? Uh, it's Barks, baby. It's got some bite. Oh, it's a, okay. Which product is that? Pepsi? That's Coke. Coke. Yeah, yeah McDonald's Coke. Coke. Burger King is also Coke, right? Coke as well. So is Wendy's. Right. Uh, the That's only, a big difference. The only um, Pepsi, Pepsi places are like uh, the Yum Brands, Taco Bell, KFC. Yeah, they're owned by Pepsi. Uh, I think yes. Wendy's is the stupid Yeah, Wendy's is the, the uh, machine. It tastes it terrible. Sucks, yeah. So if Justin got that today, got the two Mc... What are they called? McDoubles? McDoubles. Mc, two McDoubles, Coleman, a large fry, and a Shamrock Shake. How many calories is that? You might, this, you might create a fad here, Justin, if you can lose a bunch of weight doing this. Uh, there's 400 in a McDouble, so 802. 800. All right, Justin. Uh, what was it? A chicken? McChicken. I was saying, I'm not even saying the chicken. I'm saying a large fry and the, just the shake. Let's call it 500 for the shake. The shake feels like that's going to be heavy. 510 for the large fry, so let's say 1,000. So, like, just under 2,000. <laughs> you could do that. Done. Yeah, I'll do that. Done. I'll eat that. Done. I'll eat that today. Get apple pie after. No, I don't like the apple pies. Oh, do they still have that or no? Yeah, I, I don't even great. know. Really? You're not eating that, Coleman? No, never. I don't put that in my body. If you lose to this guy doing this, this is fucking mortifying. Uh, I had the store yesterday loaded up. Just healthy food. Everything healthy. <sighs> All right. That's, a, that's lunch today, Justin? Sure, I'll get McDonald's. Good time, I won't eat the bread, taste. but... You won't eat the bread? Nope. Well, why not? It's the calories. doesn't matter. I don't want the bread. Why not? Because it's free country. And <laughs> no, no, it's not. No, no you're, you're, you're talking all kinds of shit. And I will continue talking. You're saying 3,000 calories, so eat the bread. I don't want to eat, eat the fries. It's not from Germany from the 1940s. Can, instead of the bread, can I put chicken sandwiches on the end yes, of the burgers? Right. Okay. So that's, that's, the that's, that's protein. So it's going to be. Your protein? It's going to be. With Mc, the fries, though. Correct. It's going to be McChicken. McChicken. McDouble, McDouble, McChicken. McChicken, McDouble, McDouble, McChicken. McChicken serving is the bread. Correct. French fries is a... Uh, a Garnish? A, oh, yeah, a little uh, accoutrement. Uh, and then sure. a shamrock. Uh, sure. A small shamrock shake. Small shamrock shake. It's expensive, Kirk. Oof. That pussy smells strong from here. Close those legs, it's boy. It's expensive, Kirk. I can't keep affording to eat like this. Give me, the, give me the receipt. I will pay you back in full. I don't have a receipt from Olive Garden. Why? Get it. Tell me what... Well, tell, I'll give you the money back, whatever it is. $100. Well, I'm, I'm not paying for a $70 tip to Allison. <laughs> she was a nice girl. Were you hitting on her? Jeff D. Lowe? I, no, I wasn't. Jeff D. Lowe what? Je- uh, people were saying that like Jeff D. Lowe would never. In the chat. How much was it? If it was $35, Jeff so, D. Lowe would do this. It was $35 for the two of us. Jeff D. Lowe would be like, can we split the checks? And he'd do the thing where he'd be like, you actually got a soda and I got a water. So oh. that's that's two ninety nine more for you. And then he'd, he'd give her like a $3 tip, I think. And then he'd be like, uh, and he'd, be like he'd probably like, you know, Jeff D'Lo, like, uh, you know, have some, like, dozen trademark underneath, like, some line or something, you know, like, you know, you're the winner, you know. Do you... Final answer, question mark, and then, yeah, he'll do that thing. Yeah. <laughs> do you ever, like, if, if, like, if you go out with... I guess you probably don't go out with people when they're, like, drinking. I try not to. What about that? If you were, like, to go I, out with, I would like, just split it. To five guys, and, like, they all have, like, three beers. Or they something. have beers of five guys? No, I, I meant, like, you You went with five guys. I oh, mean, I beg your pardon. Right. Like, if you went out with, like, five guys. And we split it or something? Yeah, and you split it. I would just, I'll, life's too short. I'm not going to get yeah, into yeah. it. Yeah. I'll commit to this as well. For the net, for this entire challenge, I won't have a sip of alcohol either. <sighs> See, Justin, this gets me worried. Because now he's going all in. I, I yeah, like it. But right. I have to like go it. out. Club do, soda. You can do yeah, But you're doing the whole, room. like. Oh, cause, cause you're do, the thing is, is you can do that for a week. And I've done this before. You can, even, then, do it, you can even do it for like three weeks. But, and then what happens is you're like, I'll just have one. I and go then it's just all walk. in you're just, on shit, yeah, Exactly. Dude, I, you go all in. Well, why do you weigh 260 pounds and you're 24? Yeah, because I got to this point. But I like, I just. When did you go all in? Uh, 
probably like these famous end, these famous bad knees of yours. Yeah, senior year, I think senior year of college yeah. into just like working at bars. How much were you weighing like your junior year in college? If you had to guess, that's probably actually it was probably more so like the tail end of COVID. But the beginning of COVID, mm-hmm. I was under two hundred. I think I was like one ninety. Okay. And like lean, I was I was doing. <clears throat> What's your goal weight for this in hundred days? Um, ideally, I'd like to get back to like two fifteen area. You use forty five pounds in hundred days. I'm, just, I'm trying. That's, that's all right. Hey, look, I admire you know? it. I admire it. You don't think he's gonna do that, Justin? I'm locked in. Like, I think he might. Yeah, you know, Rudy. If you if he loses forty five pounds, you're dead. If he loses forty five pounds, I would have to lose. It's statistically, you're just not gonna. It's not gonna happen. Where is it? You have to lose 70 pounds in 100 days, 65 pounds. Also, by you just eating the same bad food after the competition, like for the sake of the competition is one thing. Feels unlikely. That's tough. But after the competition, you're just going to go back to eating like shit. I'm looking. Yeah, Coleman's looking. It's a lifestyle choice. Yes, Yes, it it is a lifestyle choice. If you just lower the amount you're eating, I just don't go back to eating so much. You feel like you can do that. Yes, Kirk. Okay. I've, I've cut out soda. Like I don't think you people. When the lights aren't on, on there's no soda. challenge sure going on. You're gonna go right you think back I'm, you think to I'm a, normal. You think I'm still in the do? Yeah, I think so. Uh, well, eh. the world is full of addicts who say they're not addicts. I'm definitely been. I haven't drank anything sugary, mm-hmm. and no soda, no juice. Mm-hmm. I guess Christmas Day I did have a glass of orange juice by accident. That's the same as a soda. No, it's not. I mean, if you look at the sugar, and it is basically the but same. It's not. It's Probably worse, actually. Sugar was. Yeah, it was Christmas Day. It's like apple juice. Well, a, a guy, a pretend guy, was born that day. Great, you had, <laughs> you had orange juice. What do you want me to say? I mean, look, you have your you have your methodology. I respect it. Coleman has his. We'll see. It's traditional, old school versus new, new age kind of thing. Justin, yeah, we'll see who wins. I, I mean, I don't know. Today, McDonald's. Tomorrow, Chinese food. I don't. What I do you can't do Chinese food. What are you doing? Steve brings a terrible pizza around like he did last time in Portland. I'll have some pizza. Auto's pizza, which was terrible. Awesome pizza. Don't eat that. It was bad. I'm not allowing you guys to eat that. You get sick before? It's that, what, it's that pizza that's like, you had it last year, right? I don't know where it was from, but I did have it. It's like that. It's very, uh, it's very tomato-y and it's not a lot of cheese. Yes. It's like almost light cheese. Yeah, it was like, it was like yeah, light whitish, you know what I mean? Yeah, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Anything else going on or no? Um... I did see yesterday that uh, everyone was talking about the Princess Middleton uh, picture that came out of yeah. her walking. It was not her. Completely fake. It's not her. Yeah. So is he walking with a fake person, like an actress? Not a fake person, but I'm saying it, like, a, like a stunt double? I mean, that's kind of the Montante Biden, like, body well, That double. clearly isn't even her, though. Did you see that picture, Justin? I did not. It definitely is not her. People were also saying she's, like, carrying a bag around. If she had been in for surgery of any kind, like, she probably wouldn't be doing that. Um, if she looks like that, why couldn't she just take a normal picture for Mother's Day or, or whatever it was when she had the picture with the family? So I'm saying this, this is the weirdest is fucking crazy. This is the weirdest thing of all time. I don't know. Who knows? But yeah, what else? Um, 120.3 K. Watch the uh, video. Is that watched or impressions? Yeah, probably. Who the hell knows? Yeah, I mean, Twitter's so weird. Bottomless breadsticks. Hmm. All right, let's see. You know what we'll do for a couple minutes? We'll take some. We'll take some calls. What's the number? Uh, let me see here. Eight, what is it? Give me the number. I'm going to tweet out the number, which I've never done before. Writing a number down. Let's see if how close I am. Go ahead. I'm sending it to you now. Oh, just tell me it. Oh. Uh, eight, just, go ahead. 814. Ooh, I had 812. All right. 277. Oh, boy. 456. 54. Yeah. 75. I had 7884. All right. 814. 814. Yep. 277. 277. 54. Eight one four two seven seven five four seven five. Yep. Eight one four two seven seven five four seven five. I believe that's K I R K, right, Justin? Yes. Yes. All right. Give it a few minutes here. Tweet, tweet that as well, Justin. Yep. It's amazing watching Justin burn calories during the show. We all are. You are. Coleman is. I'm burning fewer I, than you are, though. Correct. By I understand. Probably that. double. Well, you weigh. Yeah, you weigh. 
uh, a little more than twice as much as I do. Well, yeah. Yes. yes. Almost, almost exactly now. The 350. What, you, what are you like, 175? Yeah, like 172, 173. I don't, I don't weigh myself, though, really. What was that, Cole? Uh, it's just logged in, so we're good. Oh. They're building up now. Wonderful. Tweet it out, Justin. Out. Do something useful. Like an asshole. <laughs> Burning calories. Mm-hmm. Same. See, now you're making me root against you, which I don't want to do. I'd be happy if you well, lost 40 I, pounds and to pay Whitney and you to have you lose weight. I'd be thrilled to be part of it. But now you're being arrogant about it, so I'm going to root against you. What were you going to say? I'm just, you're just wrong about like. And you're lippy too, which I don't like. Well, what am I it supposed really to is. say? Go against science, Kirk? Yes. Was that, were you, were you pro? Were you, so you, how many jabs you had? 20? <laughs> huh? Jabby Justin, we call him? What a pussy. Jabby Justin. Three. Have you really? You fucking jabby loser. Ugh. Montati's revolted by you. Did you two at the number or no? Yep, I'm doing it right now. 814. Something, 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 something. Didn't love Biz and Wit talking about, I forgot to bring up a Wit about Jersey Jerry today. Did you see that? Right, yeah. But Biz is like, uh, we're not taking sides on this one. I'm like, you're not? I don't know. I get it. I mean, they're trying to run the show, but geez. I tweeted it out. 814-277-5475. Load them up. 814-277-5475. Your two-way barstool sports talk. All right, we'll take a few call and get out of here. Hello. Seven eight one. Rico and I have selected the New Mexico Lobos for our uh our our team. Maybe that's Rick Patino's son. Who are they playing? I don't know. Hello. We live to tape. Yes, we're live to tape. Making sure it's been a while since we've heard that. Um, what do you want, Jay? What's up, buddy? Need you to, need I need the McDonald's stuff to stop. You're 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 just making up stuff like me. Like, calories aren't equal. Like foods aren't equal. Yeah, I'm with Jay. You're Justin. just playing games. Yeah, I'm with Jay. Jay's right. Playing games. Yep, Both Jay, you're right. You. How, how am I playing games? What game am I playing? You're playing games, bringing up McDonald's, making it like I don't know. Is this a commercial now? No, that's Pat, the Pat Bev pod. The Pat Bev podcast has McDonald's. I believe yeah, it's a sponsor. Exactly. Well, you might be. I mean, aren't you looking for sponsors? No, it doesn't I, seem like you've had much to read we've lately. Had plenty to read, Jay. We have more as many advertisers we ever had. Simply safe to Milton's, 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 Milton's. All right. Besides the point, Justin, come on, man. Like, be real about it. Like, you know how to lose weight, but. Coleman, man, I, I don't even want, I'm surprised I just said his name. I'm sorry. I don't, I, I hate all this. I really I'm wish, who, didn't, who was the, who was, was it, Sneakers tried to kill you that day? I wish he had. Was that who it was? Me and Frank Robinson. I, I, Kirk, what, can we talk about that before I leave? About what? That night, um, somebody paid for me to go to the studio um, via Lyft, and I threw a baseball to Coleman, mm-hmm. and he read the names on it. Okay, great and story, Jay. Goodbye. Like another okay. whole- I, I, don't, I don't know what to say. We'll talk to you later, buddy. Hang in there. All right. That actually makes more sense. Hello. That's not what that. Hello. Yeah, I'll just drop him. Um, Hello. Turkey. Hey, what's up? Nothing. Uh, I'm a restaurant tour in Chicago, and last week you mentioned a champion's dinner. Uh, I would love to host you and up to 20 people in a private room. Oh, well. Of course. I, I will you... allow you to pay full price. Absolutely. No deals. Oh, well. It's not that interesting to me, well, though. Put on tab. Being honest. What, what, you're offering me the right to pay full food at full price of your restaurant? Full price, my friend. What, what's the, what's the, the, what's the payoff for me? Well, I, you don't like deals. I don't want to give you... You know, you pay full price. Yeah, but you, the, you the, 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 the sh- like the rest of those. I don't. Buy, I don't pay full price in Milton's, but also like the food could stink. Why, well, I go to a place I would like. How do I know your food's any good? Because I'm going to customize this dinner around you. A little bread, garlic, meatballs to start, followed by a Caesar salad. <laughs> of your choice. What is you this, this place? Like what is it? what is this place? I'm not going to say it over. Well, what good does that do me? <laughs> what am I gonna, Secret? Oh, magically show up. Let's just put it this way. Some of your colleagues in Chicago have dined at my other restaurants. Why would, you, why, why would you why, promote it? But you, I'm happy to promote it. What is it? If it's good, you know, who cares? Uh, 
No, I, I cannot say it over. Uh, what the <laughs> fuck is wrong with you? What are you, a fucking idiot? You come in here, you're like, hey, you could pay for 20 people at my restaurant. And I'm not going to tell you what it is. Yep. I'll talk to Justin off air and get you all set up, my friend. No, it sounds fantastic. I can't wait. I'll be there. Night of mini golf. Goodbye. Most generic meal, too. Jeez. You're talking I, meatball. I like that, though. <laughs> that I like. <laughs> we have a green milkshake. Did you try the Grimace shake or no? I never got the Grimace. It was, I don't like berry shakes. Harry had that. Hello. How was, did he go crazy afterwards? They all had that thing. Did they do like, a video? Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, nope. he dropped. <sighs> Hello. One or two more of them call. I'm in this. Hello. Holy cow. That, that guy sounds like the worst restaurant owner since that woman in the North End. Holy jeez. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. it's very, I, yeah, I don't, you might, yeah, just ask a couple of your bar stool for, yeah, I'm going to call up uh, Chief and say, hey, Chief, have you ever eaten in Chicago? Okay, list me all the restaurants. Maybe one of them is like, what, <laughs> what am I supposed to say to that? I don't understand. I guess he, I, I guess he doesn't subscribe to the notion that there's no such thing as, 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 Bad publicity. I, I guess. Wouldn't give the name. I'm happy to pay full price, anyway. but like now, somewhat twenty people. Yeah. Go ahead. What's up? Thanks for the, thanks for the bonus show, Kirk. Um, sure. I just, I'm a fellow uh, Sylvester uh, Stallone fan. Mm. Fan was wondering if you would mind ranking, in your opinion, <sighs> like which ones you like the most. Oh God. The, the six Rocky movies. Uh. Well, obviously, we know it's sixth. Um. The fifth installment is last. Um, yes. I would then go <clears throat> uh, Rocky Balboa, which I don't hate. And then I would go the ones I enjoy the most versus the best. I enjoy. I would then go one, two, four, and three is my favorite. Okay. Thanks, Kirk. Thank you. See, it's a good call. Hello. Do you consider the Creed movies? No. He didn't ask for those, did he? No, but I don't know if like... You don't overthink. They're trying to burn calories. Don't think too hard. <laughs> Hello. Kirk, famously Steve Robinson identified your relationship as a partnership. Uh -huh. Naturally, you scoffed. Correct. Yeah, naturally, you scoff at this. I'm wondering, do you regret scoffing and thinking it more as maybe like a 10%, 90% partnership, and then you still have Steve rather right. than dealing with... Obviously, the producers you sure with. right. It's a terrible thing. Um, uh, I mean, I guess Steve was twenty percent, eighty twenty. Yeah, I guess maybe I could have given a little bit, but I was so annoyed when he had his pajamas on and um, in South Carolina, I could just never mentally get over that. But these guys would do that in two seconds. Yeah, so. I don't wear pajamas. I mean, I, I threw up at that. So yeah, what do you wear to bed, Justin? All right, see ya. Uh, either, either just like a, a t-shirt mm -hmm. and underwear. The underwear is normally it's just underwear naked. Underwear naked or naked. Oh, naked. Yeah. Okay. Hello. Hey, Kirk. Hey, Justin. Hey, Coleman. How are we doing, guys? Up, JJ, JJ here. JJ, how you doing? It's been so long. It's been a while, JJ. What's so, up, guys? How you been? Good. How you doing? That's true. I'm, I'm like, why would you call, but we don't yeah, take yeah, calls. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I had a question. I don't know if you even checked it out yet or if it lined up with your kids or anything, but did you uh, touch on that Nickelodeon documentary yet? Ooh. Oh. Oh. I have. I knew about that guy, Dan Snyder, forever, uh, but I got to watch it at some point. Is it good, JJ? Yeah, it's really good. It's just crazy to me how, like, Lil' Key they kept out. It wasn't just a huge, a big story. We were talking kids, man. Hey, Justin, should watch it or no, JJ? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hang in there, buddy. Yeah. People think that's Clemmer, who will be here tomorrow. It's not, though. We can no. confirm that, right? All right, hello. One no or two chance. More. He's not a good person. Clemmer? Oh, well, him. But hey, Coleman, what is no. Alfonso Soriano mean to you? Alfonso Soriano? Um, yeah. I don't know why I'm kind of thinking of the, uh, is it not the? <laughs> oh, my God. What? You know that is. The Fresh Prince guy, right? <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> Fresh Prince, yep. Like the Carlton? Oh, the Carlton. Yeah. a joke. Yeah. Yeah, that's him. Yeah. You, right. you said that quietly. I think it got missed at one point. And, uh. You just made a joke. You're like, oh, oh that was funny, Carlton. <laughs> oh, I, did, I remember that part. There you go. Oh, there you <laughs> go. That's funny. Thanks, buddy. Yep. Hello. Kirk, John Sears from the Kegos. How John, how are you? It's been a while. I know. I, 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 this competition, this weight loss competition, is about as interesting as <laughs> Kelly and Brenda trying out for the play. Two horrible actors. <laughs> Wait a minute. Who's Roy? Am I Roy, am I Roy Randolph in this scenario? 
No, no, no. Oh. You, you, uh, I think you might have. I don't know who you'd be. I or a Kingman? Third party. Yeah, we need. I don't know who Laura. Justin's got a little Laura Kingman in there where he's just like, well, if I eat 10,000 calories, <laughs> you know, I'll somehow lose weight. Can I be, can I be a crusty Eddie, uh, uh, Roy Randall's sidekick who's seen it all? Kingman's an attractive <laughs> lady. I mean, <laughs> The other part about that is, like, she blows the audition, and it's like, oh, okay, well, she's getting the play, even though the audition she did terrible. <laughs> right. She just, she just rolls over to his house in, like, a, in like, a, in like a nightgown. Jesus. But, you know, Muncie, a.k.a. Justin, mm-hmm. I don't know how you're going to do this, but, you know, it, it he has doesn't a strategy. make any sense. He has a strategy, John. He has a strategy. He's stupid. Well, I had a strategy. So. I had a strategy. To you know, run the keg house, and it didn't work out for me. Either. No, that's true. This this is gonna happen, Justin. <laughs> he did, he did. But but Steve Sanders bested him in the end. Was the keg house like an actual restaurant? No, oh, it's the oh, keg house. God. Jesus Christ! I don't know. The the, the fraternity. I'm not familiar with Nana Two One. California, you maybe you should watch the series. Isn't there like a lot of? Uh, that's because you're that's because you're a dweeb. That's yeah, why. you're yeah, a dork. Yeah. yeah. I'm going to knock your books down and pants you next time I see you. Oh, goodness gracious. Hello. Getting all flustered. For the ones who 90210, that's going to be Justin's weight after this. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. That's kind of funny. Kirk, uh, this is Loophole. Oh, wow. How do you know, Loophole? It's been a while. Calling from the home of the great Blue Jays who uh, kicked your ass last time we played. Uh, yeah. not sure That's true. That. That, oh, I sure do remember that. Yeah, I watched some of that. Dan Hurley, that little bitch, threatened to well, fight a student. Well, I, I did... mean, that guy is a piece of shit. Hey, 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 hey. Dan's a friend. Coach is a friend. I'm a friend of the program. Anyways, uh, he's still a piece of shit. Uh, Ooh, oh, let's get on with this WrestleMania preview let's here. Let's do it. Um, <clears throat> All right. What do you want to start with first? You want to go with the main event? Give me, ma- give me, ma- give me match by match. We don't do for in honor of Harry Minahan slaving away right now at school. We don't do women's matches, so uh, we know the matches. Oh, Harry they're and an embarrassment to this. Yep. Harry and I went over these matches product. at Subway during his Triple Crown appearance the other day. We went over some of the matches. So go ahead. I'll give you my picks. All right. Let's go first. Brother versus brother. <sighs> A pretty good feud. Yep. Pretty good feud for what it is. Jimmy versus Jey Uso. Yeet. Hmm. I think no it's a, ye. I think it's a I think it's a baby face win, uh, Loop. I think it's a baby face win. Don't you? I, I, I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with another brother comes in. Oh, and yep. spoils it. For okay. The Adam yeah, in the hand. One okay. of the million. Yes. Gotcha. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, let's see. We got Seth Rollins, who is annoying as hell, versus Drew McIntyre he for the World it. Heavyweight Championship. He's Seth Rollins stinks. Um. Awful. His laugh, that stump. The only he is a song that people sing along to. That's it. Um, you see the hey guy? See the yes. No, that's Daniel Bryan. This guy's married to Becky Lynch in real life. Justin, shut up. Hey, shut the <laughs> fuck up, Justin. I'm kidding. Thank you, Paul. Uh, I'm going to take Drew McIntyre. No, I am going to take Damian Priest cashing in on Seth Rollins after the match with the Money in the Bank. What? Wow. wow I like that? it. All right, yeah, Paul. Okay. What do you got? Never saw that coming. I'm going to go with Drew McIntyre. It seems like they're he's doing well. Give him the belt only for yeah. He's but it's only for him to lose to CM Punk. So I kind of feel oh, bad right. for the guy. That's he's true. That's true. That's true. Pretty much just they're setting that up. Uh, let's just get to the main event here. Mm-hmm. Roman Reigns and Cody and uh, uh, his cousin the Rock, the Rock versus Cody and Seth. The Rock who now looks Seth. like the Rock almost looks like. Um... He's like kind of fat now, and like he almost looks like I'm trying to think who he looks like. Um, who's that golf? The guy who golfs all the time now, DJ Khaled. No, not DJ Khalid. Who is it? Uh, DJ who? DJ Khaled. Is that his name? Yeah. Is he a fat guy? Or yeah, no? yeah, yeah, yeah. He kind of looks like him. Kind of looks like him now a little bit. <laughs> um, I'm going to say it doesn't make any sense for the bad guys not to win that match, right? And then the good guys win the next night, or no? Yeah, the stipulations are right. obviously that, you know, the bloodline rules, which has to happen the next night for chaos to ensue. That's what I'm saying. So, that has to happen, right? Don't you think? Like, why oh, have that if they're not going to do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah DJ Kyle. Yeah, yeah that's guessing, who The Rock looks like, yeah. Yeah, I'm I'm guessing Seth takes the pin there because he's the big loser yeah, out of this Yeah, bad thing, weekend so. for him. I'm with you. Uh, I think, and, then, and then I think, I do then, think, 
I do think uh, Cody Rhodes will beat Roman Reigns. He's going to finish the story. Yeah, you just get, and then he can just go away with his terrible neck tattoo and just get out of my life. It's an awful tattoo. Oh, I'm getting a Creighton Blue Jay like that right on oh, my neck Jesus next week. Don't say that. So, yeah, Don't yeah. When that. they win the national championship, that's going to be pretty sweet. That's going to be another Husky title. They're si- our sixth champ. I can't believe we won six championships together. It's unbelievable. No, it's sad. Yeah, I I would do a last longer bet with you, but I know you're too scared to. So I we'll just Paul. move on. All right, see you, buddy. <clears throat> One or two more, Coleman. Some wrestling talk, Justin. I love it. I'm, I'm sure hey, you like wrestling as a kid. I was like, I would like watch it. Like I've watched pay per views here and there. Like a couple of my friends are really, really into it. I believe that. But I was never like uh, still on. Yeah, I was never super, super big into it. it I was into bo- football. Yeah, but it's, but it seems boring for you though. Like they have a lot of people like you at the shows. Hello. Oh, I I would. Hey, Kirk. I was at uh, I was at Olive Garden the other day, and I ran into Justin. Yeah. And he, he told me he told me these two jokes. You want to okay. hear them? Yeah, sure. I like a good joke. Yeah. He said the first one was, "What's the best part of sleeping with twenty six year olds?" What is the best part of sleeping with twenty six year olds? There's twenty of them. <laughs> yeah, I figured that was probably the joke. <laughs> that was two jokes you said, right? I had one more. Yeah, there's one more. Yeah, one more. Go ahead. What's the worst part? Of eating bald puss. What's the worst part of eating bald puss? Yeah, put putting the diaper back on. Yeah, yeah, I can see that, Justin. Is that disgusting. annoying or no? Gross. Putting that back on is disgusting. Gross. Putting the diaper back on. Disgusting. You don't get a fresh one. Yeah. All right, thank you. One more, maybe. He's, that's inappropriate, really. Inappropriate. At the Olive Garden, you're saying this, Justin? Uh, maybe I get blacked out in a carb. A lot of calories and you tell yeah. jokes, though. <laughs> Hello. That's why. John Candy's. Kirk, it's a dying guy. Da- oh, how are you doing, dying guy? We're going to see you in Portland, right? Uh, I'm, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. What? Uh, you were, you were told, we were told you were going to be there. Who told you that? You told us that when you were in studio. Well, you invited me, and I said, I'll see if I can make it. You're, get, you're getting your then diet. Then I've heard nothing. You're, 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 of course, you're, you're welcome to be there. All right. Get well, your dying ass up there. We'll the figure Easter it out. thing, i got to sort some stuff out. Oh, believe me, you'll have plenty more. Listen, you have two this, more Easter's at least. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Listening to Justin explain how to lose weight is something else. Are you going to argue with a dying guy, Justin? No. Why not? He disagrees with you, clearly. Well, why, like, just why? Do you not believe in science either? Dying guy? No, Justin, I teach middle school health class. Car- I, I know you're not allowed near that. middle school, but I know you're not allowed near a middle school. Are you calling school, from a school right now, by the way, dying guy? Are you supposed to be working? No, no, I'm not. Okay. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Okay. Uh, but he's not wrong in the fact that eating less calories will help you lose weight. But sure. when you eat 10,000 calories and then you cut it down to 5,000 calories, you're still not going to lose any weight, Justin. Well, I think you will at the start, but then the plateaus, Justin. No. I'm, if I eat 2,000 calories a day. Nobody said 2,000. You never said 2,000. Yes, I've been saying. We agree 2,000, but you're not eating 2,000. You had 6,000 yesterday. That one day, I'm not going to Olive Garden and eating 10 breadsticks. You're going to McDonald's today. Yes. <laughs> and eating a uh, McChicken, you have McDouble, a pro, McDouble. You have a protein-filled meal. McChicken, McDouble, McDouble, McChicken. And they're going to be hot and spicy. French fries, too. And French fries. Ketchup? Share marks. I'm asking you. I don't know. You got to go ketchup. How many calories in ketchup? I don't eat it. So. I don't know. I, I fucking smother it on. Okay. Well, you might want to count that. Just saying. No, counting calories is stupid. Dying guy. Go ahead. Justin, you're, there's no way you're only going to eat that from McDonald's today. Like, you're going to want to eat more when you're done. Yes, and maybe, maybe later Nobody's on tonight I'll have a bag of fucking McDonald's. We'll call Just, him that. All right. This, Kirk, is, this is the easiest bet you've ever made. Thank you. Well, I bet you're going to live to be 62, so I'm feeling good right now. I think I'm on a roll, dying guy. See you later. Go UConn. Oh, the last night golf course, huh, Justin? Oh, yeah. Jesus, third hole, the guy's telling me about how many calories. Benjamin my... Button, fuck. <laughs> can't, go to, uh, can't go to Portland. He's begging for UConn tickets. Oh, is he really? That's true. Oh, yeah. excellent point, Justin. Yes. Ooh. Oh, did I say that? I'm Ooh, sorry. Ooh, excellent <laughs> point. I'm sorry. You, you don't think he's dying, do you? Do you? I shouldn't have said that. that was do, you think he, do you think he's just wearing makeup? He's a middle school health teacher. No, no, we have to respect. Do you think he's... Steve Robinson wouldn't respect him for that. Do you think he's... Wearing like fake makeup? I don't know. It's worth asking. You're saying it, it definitely is. Wow. Only Justin can go after a dying guy like this. Jesus Christ. Guy's We're all gonna die today. That's true. It's what Richard Simmons said. That's he fooled right, everybody. Yeah. Jesus. Hello. 
You know Richard Serrano's calling? What do you th- I bet you do. Yes, good. <laughs> Jeremy, what are your thoughts on the movie Black Rain? Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas. Uh, it's been on lately. Um, that's Ridley Scott, right? Uh, I think so. With Andy Garcia. Andy Garcia, yeah. Like 89. Yeah. yeah, I like it. I like it. a good movie back in the day. Good movie. You happy that Riccio died? <laughs> I am happy I that you died. I figured it would be a good day for you, too, en- man. Enemy, enemy of our enemy, I mean, of, of our friends is our enemy. Damn Hello, right. Gus? Yes, damn right. Nice damn right, work. buddy. Yep. See you, pal. Free Karen Reed. Free, free, free Karen Reed. See you. We can't end with that call. Call me. Kill myself. Do you think every single day he's like... Today the day? Like today the day they're taking calls. What's he going to do if, if Karen Reed is like found guilty? What are these guys going to do? Hello. Oh, Hello, John. Not that lucky. Oh. I forgot a couple of things. Good. Please, please, please. I, I, it's, it's been painstaking enough dealing with all this. Um, to end the show, I guess, because you're not going to take another call after this. I just want everyone involved with this weight loss thing to know that they're going to severely impact Justin's mental health. What's the bit here? I don't understand. You hang up on Coleman? No, he's All still right. there, but... All right, we can't have him check. i got to take another call. got one more. Right, let's do it. I think he has... These guys, I always say, oh, why don't you take calls? Why don't you take calls? Why don't you take calls? The calls stink. Hello. What are you going to do with Justin? face after all that acne comes out when he eats this fucking McDonald's. Well, my thing is if Justin loses, do you lose weight if those zits pop? Is that, That's, you release that cream? Is that? It's disgusting. Before, before the final weigh-in, I will be. You'll pop every zit? I'm, I'm getting. Shave? All right, thanks. Left right, 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 right. You're going gonna, gonna to shave your entire body here? Uh, no, not shave. You should. But I'll, I'll do a cleanse. <sighs> yeah, you're going to cheat basically day of. No, not cheat. Okay. Not cheating. Okay, like an enema, you mean? Like an enemy? Enema. Uh, I'll do an enema. I'll do. Uh, yeah, do that, Colin. Yeah. I'll drink. No. Um, what do you mean no? You gotta win. I, I gotta do an enema. Yes, you want to join the win? <laughs> what the fuck, Colin? Please, relaxed. you yeah. put more stuff exactly. in your ass. This is why I'm gonna win. This is why I'm gonna win. You wouldn't do that to win? I, I will pretty much do anything. The other thing is, Just, Colin's got money. Justin doesn't. So that's the other thing I'm worried about. How does that? Justin James wants does. it more. Oh no, I I want this. I personal pride alone. I want this mm. locked in. So you don't want Coleman to lose weight and be healthy, Justin? He doesn't. I do. Nope. I, I want him to lose less than me. <laughs> well, I mean, he if he, he can lose less than you and still win. Sure. Well, like less percentage, percentage wise. wise. Yeah. 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 <clears throat> All right. All right. That was a quick one. Like I said, go check out that Portland stuff. Like I said, it's gonna be a great. It's gonna be a great show. Two great nights. The Mike and the Men the fans always fun at Gritty's on Friday, which is a cool place. And then the show Saturday is going to be wild. I can promise you that. Uh, we're back tomorrow with Clemmer and Steve from Gloucester. Yes. And then Thursday is who? Uh, Robbie V and Danny and Bill Ricca. Okay. And Friday is Mike. Mike and, and John from Scranton. Wow, we're loaded up for the rest of this week yep. as we continue to work away. Anything else, Justin? Anything you want to? Nope. Just excited to go eat, eat my McDonald's today. Which one are you going to go to? Uh, Do you have a McDonald's you go to or no? For this, probably, there's one in Norton that's like by my house. Oh, is it a good one? It's, it's fine. They just redid it. Do you sit inside there or no? No. How high is this sandwich when you stack it? I don't know. I've never done uh, That's got to be uh, It's like a Scooby Doo bite. Yeah, yeah, that's got to be a monster. I'm not what size fry are you getting? Got to go got to go big boy size. Yeah. Yeah. So you're going chicken beef chicken beef beef chicken. So it's going to go make chicken. The chicken. A not not like a Big Mac patty, but the the double Yeah, yeah. Slice of cheese, burger, burger, slice of cheese. Slice of cheese, burger. Burger, make chicken. So chicken. It's gonna be total. There is six pieces of meat. That's keto. It's something. Except for the fries and the shake, but yeah. And the shamrock. You're looking forward to the shamrock shake. I love shamrock shakes. They what is that? Have, what is that? Just a green minty. Ugh, see, I don't like mint. I don't like. I hope they wait. Fuck. St. Patrick's is over. Say, yeah. Fuck. Uh oh. Call him up. Call him McDonald's and Norton. Yeah, let me, I'll get their number. That's a good point. They're probably done, right? I think they go a couple days after. I hope so. I don't even think of that. One point.
point four out of five. <laughs> Who's leaving a good review for McDonald's? You would if it was good. No. No. No one's leaving. Hey, uh, how you doing? Um, do you still are you still guys still sh serving the Shamrock Shake? Unfortunately, we're temporary out. I hopefully have some coming later on this afternoon. <sighs> All right, thanks. Okay, I guess the one. Yeah, maybe the one in Plainville. <sighs> Call the one in Plainville. <sighs> what would you get if they didn't? The chocolate shake? I don't know. Those are good chocolate shakes. I haven't had them forever, but those are good. You know what's good at McDonald's? I used to have when I was a kid, the pancake and sausage. Yeah. Yeah, that was good. A while ago, I, I, I had a McGriddle, and it was like ice cold, and I uh, bit into it, and it like ruined ew. it for me. Sassy Snacks had a great uh, McDonald's breakfast one. She was on a special diet to eliminate um, jet lag. She had it that morning. It's a good, it's a good episode. I suggest you look it up. This isn't good. Such bullshit. They're bringing it back? They're, they're out of, I think they're, they might be out of like the Out uh, of the thing that makes it a... Plainville McDonald's. Hi, have you guys had the Shamrock Shake? Oh, yeah, we still have it. Excellent, thank you. Thank you. No problem. See you soon. That's big. That's why they're a 2.4 out of 5. Just not working on the live show. He's in the hustle lobby here and get the Shamrock Shake while Coleman slaves away. It's only fair. Locked in. Plainville McDonald's, huh? Yeah, it's right across the street from a Burger King, which is not very good. That's how they do it, though. But that was Burger King's strategy. Uh, yes, but the Burger King is not, not. That's like the worst Burger King. Could get both. Burger King hamburger itself is better than the McDonald's hamburger. I would not a charbroiled hamburger. When I grew up, I, I, don't yeah. eat, I don't eat any of them anymore. I eat Chick-fil-A once in a while. That was a better hamburger. And they had the French fries. I, I beg your pardon, the onion rings, like, which I liked. My, uh, my friend used to work at Wendy's, and he mm -hmm. said that the 100% certified fresh beef is just the name of the brand of beef. Oh, wow. So it's not actually... Your friend's probably an expert. He's probably right. Well, he's, he's dead now. Oh, is he? <laughs> yeah. Who's, what happened to him? Oh, he, he, yeah, he committed suicide. Oh, he but, did? Yeah. Because you hit him? Yeah, that's what yeah. Wendy's wants you to think. Yeah, right. <laughs> he wow, did he much. really? Maybe he knew too much. Poor yeah, guy, yeah, Jesus. He spreading information. <clears throat> he used to be great, though. He'd run out like free Wendy's to me. That's probably where it all began. It's true. He's dead and you're fat. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. God. I used to deliver pizza. We oh, would make God. our own pizza. Mm -hmm. just, From where? Uh, there was a place in... Oh, like a local one? Yeah, it was Briggs Corner. We would be packed. We would make our own pizza. And it would just be, there would just be a mountain of fucking sausage and bacon. Oh, and I remember one time the uh, I, I made mine. And the owner was like, who who made this pizza? And I was like, oh, I, was like, oh, oh, I did for me. He's like, you used like half the sausage on one like oh. small... He's like, you have to pay for that. And I was like, oh, man. He did, huh? I did. Oh, life's lessons. All right, we're back tomorrow. Uh, we're back the rest of the week. So there you go. Bow in the show. Five shows on this week? Yep. Jesus fucking Thank you. Christ. Thank you, Kirk. And an unnamed show Friday. Oh, God. And an unnamed show Friday. Yeah, I guess I go check about the tickets. We'll, we'll keep promoting those uh, balcony ones, I guess. And uh, we'll be back tomorrow with uh, Chris Clemmer back in the studio for the first time in a while. Good night.